Hello again, Trail Q collectors. We have a Nissan GTR R35, the Nismo edition, and it's Trail Q number Z-56. Whew, that was a long introduction. So, look at this guy. This is my first R35 Skyline. Well, technically it's not called a Skyline in this generation, but I'll always call them Skylines. It also says Nismo N Attack Package. So I'm not sure what that Attack Package stuff means, but supposedly this has it. This does have separate mirrors, but they're so small I will not put them on because I'm... Oh, wait a second. No, I thought they were Peggles for a second. They're no Peggles, so... I'm not going to put them on. It's just going to snap off next time I touch it. Alright, let's paint this guy. Unfortunately, this is the only color I could find online. I prefer not to get black vehicles. The reflections just throw it, make it difficult to see. But you got to buy what you can get. Yeah, it's a pretty good impression of the front, though. There's cartoon foreshortening. Definitely foreshortened quite a bit. black is not metallic, it's just a straight black, I think. Oh wait, I might be mistaken. I think there is a metal flake in that. Yeah, it's just so, such a fine flake. So it's a really small flake uh, metallic black or really dark charcoal maybe. I've seen these wheels before. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I guess all these Nismos came with black wheels, but these I think are from a different GTR, maybe not. They're not specific to this car, I don't think. I might be wrong. Alright, some silver paint here in the vent, detail, door handle sticks out. Of, no, it, I don't know. I can feel some. Maybe it's just the recess of the panel cut. There's a fuel filler there. You got some vents back here. And then you got a tiny red line running across the whole bottom. It's pretty well done. And a little bit of red here in the grill, a white license plate silver for these LEDs, so that's a nice touch there. And then the GTR also... Mm, it's legible. There we go. Just gotta get the right angle. Um, yeah, alright. The headlights are better than usual because it's not just silver. They have this little white graphic on it as well. This is actually a separate color, this gray on these little vents. Dark smoked canopy, but it is translucent. You can see my finger moving back there. This side, I'm now noticing there's a silver side marker. And then also a silver rear marker. Or a reflector. See, the wing here, I think, must be a separate piece. And it's a different color. It's like a lighter metallic than that one. Taillights are nicely done. They're actually recessed. Oh, but there's red and silver paint in there, so that's good. And then the exhaust tips are pretty nice, you know, with the depth of the middle. And then also some red carrying across here. Some little vent details there. Tells you what, where it is in the series, so that's good. It even tells you this is, uh, this is a 2017 Nismo. I pulled up photos of a 2020, so my bad. Yeah, the 2020 uh, has vents here. The, I guess the older one doesn't. Oh well. Sorry. You're gonna have to live with it. Uh, when was this model made? The fourth month of 2020. So, not too old. Strange that it took them three years. If this is a 2017 car, it took them three years or four years to put this out. Strange. Okay, well, it's a pretty nice model and all. It's just a. Uh, you know, it's just a dark color, unfortunately, so it's hard to kind of see with all the reflections. All right, well, let's pull up the uh, good old spin coaster. We've got a track coaster today. And first, I will compare to a TLV. Same parent company, Tomy, Tomy Tech. This just says GTR Nismo on the bottom. But I'm going to guess it is a 2020 because it has those vents on the front fenders. So it's not a equal comparison. Yeah, 
it's a it's a different different front end. Oh well. But the general proportions, hopefully you got a chance to see that. So a couple other uh let's go back in time here. We have an R thirty four skyline and there are some uh Hot Wheels real rider type of things on there. I think it looks better. Let's go back a little more to an R33, but this is an R33 that competed at Le Mans, and I 3D printed my own wheels on that one. Okay, and we'll do one more. This is an R32, I think. Yep, it is. And uh, again, I 3D printed my own wheels for that one. Alright, this is a mean looking uh, GTR, so we're gonna have to have Darth Vader roll with this guy. Well, I, I don't know I, what other colors this thing came out in, but I'm gonna guess they're better than this color if you like to actually see the contours of the body. But if you're into the whole, uh, you know, stealth fighter look, this is definitely the color to go with. I only wish the wheels were, you know, different. Uh, I might end up painting those, because you really can't even see the details of the wheels when they're all black like that. Alright, well, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.